What influences all engravers all comes from different angles. So we used to go to Victoria and Albert Museum and educate ourselves on certain patterns. Once you start seeing it, it evolves and it becomes your own. I can look at someone's gun and know who's done that. It's literally like seeing someone's handwriting. The heritage of gun engraving came about from people having a beautiful object and it not being decorative. With the Purdy heritage, you always go back and you look at the old guns that went before. That's what people like. You can put little embellishments on it, which are your own. But outside of that, we try to keep it pretty traditional. The process of engraving has changed dramatically. We used to use just push hand tools mid-1990s, a whole range of new tools come out with templates, piston action, definitely reinvigorated engraving. And the quality's gone up. Now you use microscopes, it's like doing surgery in a weird way. It's quite nice. <laughs> Start to finish, the gun will be polished and then we literally start drawing on them freehand. Because each purdy is completely unique, every action has got a different take on what the gun should look like or they might round a bit more off here. There's no set pattern. Each customer will pick a pattern, like large scroll, which make the guns look very elaborate or a lot of people actually go shooting. They like the small scroll because it's an actual working gun, they can go in the field with it. But when you have the fine engraving, it's more of a showpiece, which is a very nice thing to own. I really enjoy what I do. It gives you a lot of freedom to be creative. The reason I enjoy it is the design side of it and taking something that looks amazing anyway and then turning it into something really, really special that someone keeps for 100, 200 years.